So I saw this video on YouTube about how to manufacture or build a castle from scratch using old tools and techniques. And the amount of labor in this video is shocking. Absolutely shocking. I knew um, there's a lot of labor involved in making castles, obviously hauling all of those rocks around. But just watching it be done in real time and trying to wrap your head around just how long it would take to build some of these structures is really alarming. And I've often compared Arcology to a castle. It is a giant 21st century castle. But I assure you, the building techniques and the materials involved are completely different. You cannot compare the two. <laughs> Arcology is... 100 times larger and it uses 100 times less labor <laughs> so 99 percent less labor and the trying to compare the two attempting to compare the two is quite a remarkable thought exercise i mean these walls are so thick they're so incredibly thick and incredibly heavy and how many square feet do you get <laughs> from all of that weight, from hauling all of those rocks and breaking all of those rocks? And uh, your, you could calculate your uh, tons of stone per square foot or your hours of labor per square foot, and it would be awful, <laughs> absolutely terrible. And then you could compare your uh, square foot production per hour in Arcology, and it would be, once again, at least, I would imagine, 100x higher. So in typical fashion, I did some math on this to clarify things. This is a rough estimate for hours per hexagon, square foot of hexagon. And uh, then you get your square foot per hour. So this is how many square feet you can construct per hour. Like 12 to 6, roughly. And then this is some estimates for um, constructing a castle. Castle areas. So you get your cubic feet to build a 20 foot by 20 foot room. 400 square feet. That's 4 cubic feet of stone per square foot of castle room and then you just estimate how long it took to transport the stone to break the stone transport the stone uh, lay the stone create the mortar for the stone haul the mortar up all of the stairs <laughs> all of this stuff with all manpower of course and uh, this is your square foot per hour of the traditional castle construction so then you just do some easy division and you get hexagons are 9 to 32 times faster than producing a traditional castle. So I would just my initial ballpark estimate was a 100x. This is much, much more accurate. Um, 9x is pretty, uh, pretty quick, actually. I'm actually shocked kind of shocked with this number hexagons are only nine times faster and then uh, <clears throat> so I found an error here I didn't calculate the slowest hexagon to the fastest castle and then the slowest castle to the fastest hexagon to get the full range so I fixed that and it's actually 5x on the low end, which is even more shocking. And then 55x <laughs> on the high end. So we'll just throw an average in here, let's say, to make this even more accurate. What? Oh. 26x. I think that's reasonable. I think that's fair. 5x is crazy. Even 9x is a little is, is pretty shocking. 
27x I think is very reasonable for uh, the reality of the situation. And 100 is just, that was my wild ballpark estimate with no uh, foundation to it. So simple maths here, we have our uh, castle of the British royalty. Let's just round to 500,000 square feet for the whole thing. You multiply by 27 for the efficiency increases, average efficiency increases, and you get 13,500,000 square feet for the royal castle. Now, this does not include the... It's the actual housing for everyday people, for businesses, etc., etc., etc. Furthermore, you can deduce this. You have taken off the chart average square foot per hour of labor for hexagons. Just throw that. And then your average dollars per hour for labor. This is general labor, and you could average in carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. Maybe make it 30. Why not? Then we have $3.3 dollars .3 per square foot, dollars per square foot per labor for hexagons. And then you multiply by your 27 for the uh, efficiency decreases. And for a castle, you're paying $90 per square foot, which honestly is still less than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, because a skyscraper in New York City is $400 to $600 per square foot. So $90 for the labor is really not that bad. In theory, this means that your typical skyscraper construction today, your average normal skyscraper construction today, could be roughly as inefficient as building a stone castle from scratch, which is shocking and uh, quite depressing, in fact. So I guess that's it for this video. I hope you learned uh, a bit, and I hope you're excited for that 27x uh, labor efficiency increase due to completely new materials, a completely new construction process, completely new design, and I will still uh, compare the 3D modular cities to castles because they will be kingdoms littering the countryside and these castles are made out of steel instead of stone because we are entering the 21st century truly entering the 21st century and truly entering the new age the age of aquarius anyway that's it for this one and remember a single dream is more powerful than 1000 realities but that was